Strings of Fate. In the quaint town of Puppendorf, where cobbled streets met marionette theaters, there existed a rivalry as old as the town itself. Two puppeteer families, the Bellinis and the Montalvos, had been at odds for generations. Their puppet shows were the town's pride, and each family believed they had the finest marionettes. At the heart of this, rivalry was a legend. A marionette named Serafina, said to be carved from a star that fell from the heavens. Her beauty and grace on stage were unmatched. But one fateful night, Serafina vanished, leaving both families accusing each other of theft. Enter Clara Montalvo, a young puppeteer with dreams bigger than Puppendorf. She discovers Serafina hidden away in the attic, gathering dust. Clara was determined to bring Serafina back to the stage and end the family feud. Little did she know, the marionette held secrets of her own. With Serafina in hand, Clara began practicing in secret, and soon enough, whispers spread about the mysterious puppeteer who could make a marionette dance as if it were alive. Word reached Lorenzo Bellini, a charming yet cunning puppet master, and he sought to unmask this enigmatic performer. The two puppeteers, both masked, met on stage for a duel of strings and artistry. The spectacle was mesmerizing, with each marionette moving in perfect harmony. The townspeople were captivated. But as the show reached its climax, the masks came off, revealing Clara and Lorenzo. Gasps echoed through the theater. The Montalvos and Bellinis, both present, tensed in anticipation. However, instead of conflict, an unexpected thing happened. With Serafina leading the ensemble of marionettes, she began to weave a tale, a tale of love and unity, of forgiveness and fresh starts. As the story unfolded, Clara and Lorenzo, immersed in their craft, failed to notice that their strings had become entangled, making it impossible to tell where one's control began and the others ended. As the final curtain fell, the audience erupted in applause. But the loudest cheers came from the Montalvos and Bellinis, who, inspired by the performance, sought reconciliation. The townspeople praised Clara and Lorenzo, but the duo had another surprise. They announced their intention to merge the two family theaters. Puppendorf rejoiced, eagerly awaiting the grand shows the union would produce. But the most astonishing twist was yet to come. That night, as Claire was putting Serafina back in her box, she noticed a hidden latch. Inside was a letter, yellowed with age. It was written by her great-grandmother, revealing that she and a Bellini ancestor had crafted Serafina together, intending her to be a symbol of unity for both families. They'd hidden her away, hoping future generations would discover her and end the feud. With tears in her eyes, Clara realized Serafina's true magic wasn't in her dance, but in her story, the tale of two families, divided by rivalry, but forever bound by strings of fate, 